What's going on, everybody? Let's get right to it. The other day, I was discussing some other NBA news with some friends in a group text. And we started talking about who are the rivals and the best rivalry. And we came up with something where I was talking on a previous video about the Avalanche of Red Wings. Go check that out if you have not seen it. But then people started bringing up LeBron James and his rival. And some of us were trying to guess who is his rival. And as we go to and think about it, we've seen Jordan and Isaiah Thomas, Magic and Larry Bird, Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> so there's been some great friendships and rivalries in the league. And as it started to go through, I started to go, you know what? Who is really LeBron James' rival? And first thing I think of is why did he leave uh, Cleveland? Because of the Celtics, right? He was like, he felt like he was kind of stuck there. They were building a team around him, but he didn't feel like there was enough. And I think he didn't want to go to the age 31 and not have a title, be tra strapped in there. So he left because Boston, they're the original team that built the big three with Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen. And so you go, well, look at Paul Pierce. Is that his biggest rival? Head to head record in the regular season, it's 35 to 34 in favor of LeBron. So it's pretty even, but then you look at the playoffs. And like I said, Paul Pierce did beat him and go get a championship. And then they went back to back years, losing eventually to the Lakers uh, the other time. So, but in the playoffs, even though he lost that series to Paul Pierce, he actually has a 17 and 13 record against Paul Pierce. So he's better than him in the regular season and in the playoffs and has more championships. So we can take Paul Pierce off the list. Next up, obviously at the time was Kevin, Gar or Kevin Durant. Kevin Garnett's gone. Kevin Durant, when he joined the Warriors, even before so, right? How many times would people say in OKC, hey man, Kevin Durant, he is the second best player in basketball. You know, you still had Kobe coming towards the end of his career. You had LeBron who was like this big, big physical presence, a great player, a league MVP, and just dominating. And he was in Miami. And you're like, is Kevin Durant the second best? Could he surpass LeBron? And then they go heads up, and LeBron gets his first title over Kevin Durant. So he celebrates, and that kind of puts a squash on could it be KD. But then he goes to the Warriors, and then he beats him. Beats him two times. Gets two titles over LeBron while he's there. Even though there are circumstances if you go back, you know. Either way, no. I'm going to say 100% no. You cannot be a guy's rival when you piggyback on a team that already won a championship and already had a built team. It would be just equivalent right now if LeBron wouldn't join the Nuggets. And then all of a sudden they beat the, the Warriors and you go, oh, is, is Steph Curry and LeBron, are they rivals? You know, look at them. He's got uh, more titles than him now. No, 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 no. It would be he jumped. There's one thing to say LeBron might have built super teams, as people say, but... LeBron never went to a defending champ. He never he went to teams and would bring a buddy with a team that already had someone and would build around that with the Cavs, with the Heat. So, no, I would not. I'm, I'm taking KD off. I remember watching those games in the finals and the announcers going, oh, he surpassed him. He's it now. Well, good God, dude, look what the team he, he had way better situation than, than LeBron did in that, that area. He came off a team that had won 73 wins, you know, and that KD couldn't beat in the playoffs. That's a weird situation for me because as you see, LeBron has gone to other teams. He's never gone to a team that beat him. I feel like KD was kind of like, this hurt KD in my opinion, to where you're like, hey, can't beat him, join him. And that just isn't the mentality of usually a, a pro athlete. It's, I want to win. You know, I, you know, Kawhi Leonard went to Toronto. He didn't want to, right? He even said, hey, he eventually got out of there. But tip of the cap to Kawhi Leonard, who stayed and did win a championship there. Now, albeit, I think the Warriors would have beat them, but they were all injured. So that's kind of like what happened to the LeBron, the first one where the Warriors won. There was no Kevin Love and no Kyrie Irving, and LeBron uh, ended up losing, and I think that's the same thing here. So scratch that. It ain't KD. I'm taking him off the list. He cannot be a rival, take away those championships, because without the Warriors, he has never won a championship, and he's had some talent. Westbrook and Harden when he was in OKC. So no, not happening. Now let's get to the next one, Steph Curry. This obviously would be the logical player. They both have four championships. Now Curry has beaten him in, in, in the finals multiple times. First one, like I said, I'm gonna give a pass to LeBron. The other one, it was earned. And then the next two, the Warriors were too good because they got Kevin Durant. Can you imagine if Kevin Durant went to the Cavs? Oh my gosh, even if Kevin Love, let's say they traded Kevin Love in the deal, you had KD, LeBron, and Kyrie, that Warrior team ain't winning, but he still did win. And so you gotta say, I think it might be Steph Curry. Regular season meeting, it's 10-10, right? They're heads up, they're 10-10. But in the playoffs, I wanna say it was 15-7 in favor of uh, Steph Curry. So 
that would put it where you would go, hey, they both got four titles, but Curry got three over one. So that would be the logical choice of who is LeBron's greatest rival. It would have to be Steph Curry. But then I hit the brakes because even in this group discussion we were talking, as much as I said, you know what, KD did help, Woody, Curry, yes, the stats were there, that he's not the greatest rival. The greatest rival to LeBron James are you guys, are us, me, you, but not me in the fact because I'm not a hater. If anyone out there is watching this video, you are LeBron James' greatest rival. You are the one that sits there and no matter what he does is never good enough. Before he won a title, it was, man, before he even got to the first final, nah, man, he ain't nothing. He ain't no Kobe. He ain't no Michael Jordan. Of course not. Give him time. I remember they used to say that about Kobe when Kobe first came in. Oh, he ain't no Michael Jordan. Well, dude, give the guy time. You can't expect him to come out at 18 and just take over the league. By the way, LeBron did come over at 18 and dominate the league. Not MVP status level, but better than any 18-year-old previously had. And... That when he made that 07 run and he took that Cavs team and lost, I remember just getting there, still hearing people say, uh, you know, they got lucky. Oh, they only they beat uh, two crappy teams, you know, 500 teams in the first two rounds. The Pistons didn't have Ben Wallace, uh, even though the Pistons had a better record, even though the Pistons were the top team in the East, even though the Pistons had been to back-to-back -back finals. I know Ben Wallace is gone, but they still had to go through 82 freaking regular season games. It was never enough. So when he beat them and got to the finals and got swept. It was Mardi Gras, all the haters. Hey, yeah, he told you he failed. Jordan never lost, it's over. Jordan never lost six and on the finals. LeBron could go 10 straight finals. It's not good enough. Then he finally gets to the, there and loses again with the Heat. Remember that first one? That is on LeBron, 100%. I've always said as a James fan, that is on him. They had a 2-0 lead, they lost to Dallas. James totally got outplayed and they lost to a team that should not have beaten them. So that is on him. But it all came out again. All the partying. I mean, you, you would have thought that there was, a, like, if all the James haters can get together, they would have threw a party tipping over cars like their team won a championship. Then he wins. And every time he would win, it was because of this, because of that. The team's inferior. The te he had the easier schedule. He had the East. Of course he made it to eight straight finals. He's in the Eastern Conference. That's easier. Well, he's there on that team. What do you want him to do? Had he done it in the West, what would your excuse have been? Oh, he had to grab this, he had to grab that. Uh, I've always said, four and six, James has a losing record in the finals, but I'm giving him a pass. I have two of them, the, the one I just said at 07, and the one where Kyrie and Love both went down, that was not the same Cavs team all year. But haters won't give him that. They'll say, oh, the numbers are what they are. They don't wanna hear that. And if he goes out to win, you hear other guys, his own rival, which I just said, Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett, both did not like him. They did not like playing with him or against him. They, they loved beating him. It was their favorite guy to beat. They both talked trash on him. They had huge rivalries as far as hating each other. They both said, once he got the all-time scoring record, go look it up. What are the thoughts of Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce on LeBron James? They said, man, that's it. Oh, that's it. He, he, we didn't like him, but everything he's done, everything he's done, to be the, and they know because they're old men. And they said at his age, to go out there and drop like 28 points per game and to be the physical force he still is and to be in the power he is and to be able to make another Western Conference run and everything he did and all-time leading scorer, they said they believe he is the best player. They believe he's the best. I still, I'm not getting into that. We're not doing GOAT. This is just about what is James' biggest rival. And they said it, their haters, the people that played against him and hated him, said he was the best ever because of what he's doing for so long. And Ke Kevin Garnett said if he gets his fifth title, it's over for him. He's saying there is no debate, a fifth title. But would the fans ever accept that? Of course not. The fans will never take LeBron James as the best. If he wins two, if he equals Jordan and goes to 12 finals and finishes six and six, what would you haters say? Go ahead and put in the comments. I can already hear it. Uh, because he had uh, AD and then uh, Russell, D'Angelo Russell, and then they traded for someone. Maybe there was injuries. At, at his age, he should not be winning titles and being a top three guy in his team. Yet he is. Yet he is. And it's you would have a 30-year-old AD and LeBron. And everything will always go back to why he won it. In the bubble, in the bubble, asterisks, shouldn't count. Kobe passed away, it's because of this, and the refs helped this, and it's just like, the, it, you fans that hate him are the biggest rival. Tell me I'm wrong.
Okay, I love to hear it. If you're watching out there and you're a James fan, let me know I'm right. If you're a hater, you probably stopped watching and put a bunch of hateful comments already. But you fans are the ones that are the biggest rivals of LeBron James because no matter what he does, it will never be enough. And that's sad. Because in the end, like I've said in the past, he's going to be gone soon. You're missing out on one of the greatest players in NBA history. Go give him a watch this last year. I'm telling you, the Lakers might win it. And if they do, I don't want to hear a single excuse on why he won, other than the fact that he is one of the best players of all time. Thanks for watching. If you watch this long, say hey. Go number 27, Mike Trout. And uh, like, subscribe, look for more videos. We got our next video coming up. We'll be based on fantasy football, our top 10 redraft, and dynasty quarterbacks from each side. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.